hey what's up guys welcome to my channel so the watch you're looking at today is a Casio G-Shock so it's the basic square G-Shock the DW5600 which is known and loved by watch enthusiasts all over the world so it's basically an entry into the G-Shock range so now, now in their G-Shock range they have a lot of square G-Shocks but yeah this could be considered the entry in the range so as you can see this is the model number TW5600E1VQ or the G001 so, uh, so as this is the first video in the channel so just a disclaimer so I am based here in India and I am a collector of affordable watches so you would see some videos on Casio watches or Seiko watches in my channel in the upcoming days so yeah this is the first one so so yeah let's get to the watch itself pretty basic G-Shock packaging you just get a plastic black box outside and the metallic hexagonal tin box with the watch this is the usual paperwork this is the international warranty card this is the invoice I believe and this is the uh, instruction manual let's keep the coding stuff to the side and get to the interesting part yeah this is the watch box let's quickly open this up so while I open this up just a quick disclaimer this is not a new watch I have bought this I think around one and a half years back so yeah I'm just pretending to be surprised by the look and all if you feel like it but yeah, yeah it's not yeah. So, this is the watch let's just remove the model tags and everything and get to the watch itself perfect start Ex exact 1200 here in India and start of a new day start of a new YouTube channel <laughs> kind of poetic but yeah what can you say so yeah a bit of backstory about this watch so before this I wasn't I didn't consider myself a, a watch expert or a watch enthusiast uh, in any way but yeah this was the watch I feel the first one which I got which had some sort of a fame or a critical um, acclaim I would say or a iconic status some kind of so yeah this is the square G-Shock so yeah so basically what you get with this is a 42.8 millimeter thick case and uh, it's 13.5 mm thick and the shroud is made of resin so is the band and yeah you get a mineral glass here so coming to the price so i bought this at around 3300 i believe so this is a price in december 2020 so i just checked recently on the cash website it's available right now for i believe around 5000 so yeah the mrp is 5300 and in sale it's around like 4800 usually available around that yeah so the price has gone up in the past one year and coming to the uh, features so you have alarm stopwatch uh, and yeah and an LED light of course being a Casio digital so, sorry if I'm unable to do justice to the LED but yeah uh, it's pretty legible in the dark so yeah no issues there yeah so uh, why did I get this watch so basically when I was uh, I didn't know about this uh, particular model of G-Shock I was just aware of the G-Shock range I was a fan of the <laughs> Mudmaster range like uh, I used to uh, watch videos and see the features and all but when I really thought about it most of the G-Shock designs were housed in obnoxious case sizes like more than 45 mm and so on so like they don't suit my wrist pretty well so so this is uh, one G-Shock shape like the square G-Shock range which I believe sits on the wrist pretty well despite being a G-Shock so you get all the uh, goodness of a G-Shock like 200 meter water resistance, shock resistance and so on despite being an obnoxious size so yeah so I, I looked into the 
uh, square g-shock range and yeah, this was the like entry to that range as you would say so this this does not have solar this does not have atomic time keeping but yeah this is the this is this is the entry point basically so yeah uh, so on the rest so I basically I have an around 7.5 mm rest uh, 7.5 inch rest and like this is how it looks on my seven and a half inch rest sorry if I'm taking too long yeah as you can see a pretty manageable size despite being a G-Shock so yeah so you get all the usual ruggedness which come with a G-Shock and uh, uh, you won't believe this is the watch which has got the most rest time on my wrist for the past year so it even went on my Goa trip with me and I never took it off so it's a bit and like this particular watch you get the ruggedness of a G-Shock and you are not spending a pretty penny so even if you happen to do something to it which is very unlikely still yeah like it won't pinch you a lot you can always get another one so th th the range has a lot of different options of straps and features and so on if you i, I think around 6000 they have a solar option as well so yeah th th those would be something to look at in the future but yeah this is this was the tw5600 hope you liked my review and yeah stay tuned for further watch videos take care guys bye